welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kamari Singh. Welcome to today's video, which happens to be a really exciting one. So today, guys, it's currently um, half 11 on the 6th of November, and at 1.40 today, I've got an audition. Oh my God. Um, the reason why I'm hyped up about it is because this is the first audition I've had in person since COVID happened. Uh, since then, it's just been a lot of self-taping, which I'm going to be honest with you, I do prefer, I do prefer to self-tape and just send it off and, you know, not be judged and never have to hear from anyone again, because uh, that's been happening a lot recently. But um, today is not a self-tape today. Day. Today is I'm actually going somewhere to audition. Um, I'm not too sure, I'm never too sure if I'm allowed to say what I'm auditioning for, so I'm going to play it safe and not, but I will tell you that it is a theatre piece. Um, so I'm going to audition for a theatre piece and uh, the place where I'm going to audition for it is uh, the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School which, as if you guys do watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that I am quite familiar with the school. Um, I've auditioned there before, um, not for a full-time course, just for a foundation course which I got onto for 10 weeks. So I love the school, it's filled with so many happy memories for me, it gives me such good vibes and the last time I was there and I auditioned, I got it. Um, I'm not expecting to get this role, um, but regardless of if I get it or not, I'm just so pleased that I get to audition today and I get to go and do a scene with people and, and I think that's what it's all about and just developing my audition skills. Um, that's what I'm really after, you know? So even if I fail and I fall on my ass and, and it goes terribly wrong, I'm still walk out happy because that unfortunately needs to happen <laughs> in order for me to get better. Um, so I'm just kind of embracing it all. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I got sent through the script about two days ago um, and I've been rehearsing ever since then. And the good thing about it is um, I can I can hold the script in my hand as I audition. Um, so they've brought someone in to read with me. So yeah, it's at 1.40 and I'm gonna drive there today. I'm not gonna take the bus because it's miserable outside and um, I just don't fancy getting my hair wet or anything. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna go early. I'm gonna go about quarter to one just because um, I want to find parking, my mum also wants to jump in the car and I will drop her off in town on the way as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've got an audition today, which, you know, is big time, it's big stuff. Um, and I hope there's many more to come, you know, I'm, this is, this is the start of it. You know, I remember, you know, in one of my videos I said I haven't even started auditioning yet. I know I haven't even been able to tell you, oh, I went to this audition and already I feel like there's so much progress because I'm at that point now where I'm actually going to one today and I will definitely bring you guys with me. Um, of, of course, I probably won't be able to, to film the actual audition, but I'll try and sneak you guys in and maybe give you a little look of the school. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what happens. To be honest with you, I don't really know what to expect and so I'm just expecting everything. The last time I um, auditioned there, uh, I knew the person, I knew one of the people that was auditioning me. So today I'm expecting to know everyone, just so I don't get surprised. Um, I'm expecting there to be about a hundred people in the room and just one person in the room. I'm, I'm expecting it all so I don't get surprised, so I don't get nervous. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And also, just want to mention, Today is Derby Day, United against City, and I'm missing it. I am missing probably the biggest game of the season so far to go to this audition, so it, it better be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, I've just had, I've just,
I just had it. It happened. It didn't go so well. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting that role. Um, I was extremely nervous. Like, extremely, extremely nervous. And uh, he liked the ending. The ending part to it. And I think that's because I had no more lines. <laughs> and, uh, and then we redid a bit in the middle. I choked on some of my words. Oh my god. That's all right though. That's I said it this might happen. It, I've no, I haven't had an audition since 2019 in person. And so I, I was extremely nervous and I think it, I hyped it up. Um it's all right though. It happened and now that that's out of the way with maybe I can focus on something else. Oh, that was bad. That wasn't the that wasn't the, <laughs> Oh man, do you see what I mean? You rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse But if it's not good on the day, then it doesn't matter! Then it doesn't matter Oh well, is what it is It is what it is Um, And there was a bit in it when I spoke over the guy who was talking for me and I went and I was like, oh my god, why did I do that? Why? Why did I do that? And then he looked at me like... <laughs> he was really nice though, he was American and I don't know why I was so nervous. I don't know why I'm shouting. It is what it is. Um, I was about to apologise, I am sorry. I am sorry for my performance. Oh man, let's get home. Hey guys, it's currently the next day. Um, I had my audition yesterday and I think I uh, was uh, mumbling a lot yesterday after the audition had taken place and I realised to myself upon reflection that I didn't really explain um, wholeheartedly um, the audition experience, why I didn't think it went well um, and the the lead up basically to uh, go into my audition yesterday. So as you can see from the start of the video I was so excited um, and that hasn't changed. I was so happy that I, I got an opportunity to audition yesterday. It wasn't my best and I'll tell you why. So um, I received my script for the audition two days before um which is absolutely fine there's no problem with that however i think because i've been thinking about you know what went wrong how i can improve what i need to work on um i think what threw me off was when they said that i was allowed to have my script in hand so i was able to have my sides with me whilst auditioning which has never happened before normally I I don't have my script. I've I learned my lines prior to auditioning and I don't need it. And I think what really threw me off was the fact that I had my lines in my hand and because of that I kept looking at my lines. I feel like I wasn't confident enough that I kn that I know the lines because generally that is one of my um what you call it, it's one of my strong suits, learning lines I generally, I can do within um, a day, like if you give me a whole script I can try and learn them, no biggie, once I've got them it's fine, I know them, that's it, there's no going back, but I think because I had received the script and I was told that I was allowed to have the script with me, I don't know, maybe I wasn't so dedicated to learning my lines or you know making sure I knew them fluently because I was like you know what I've got the script so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put so much pressure on myself to make sure I have these lines down because I do have the script and maybe you know that's not what they're looking for that you know they just want to see potential and also first of all getting there I thought I'd take my car um, which initially was meant to be a good idea however as I I forgot it was a Saturday, town was horrendous, there was a crash on uh, the motorway into town so I had to go a different route, um, some back streets, town was very packed, um, 
my sat nav was taking me around the whole of bloody Bristol um, and so getting there was a bit of a faff and that in itself gave me a bit of anxiety because I set off at maybe half 12 and I remember saying that my audition was at 1.40 so I'd given myself plenty of time um, but then obviously I didn't make allowances for you know anything to occur within town that would delay me and that inevitably happened why why wouldn't it because it's me and I have the worst luck in the world and when I finally got there I found a parking space and then I was faffing around with trying to pay a parking fee I have that Ringo app and so I got out of my car I went to the um, pay station or whatever it is there's a code on it and I put the code in I know I've registered for this before but it wasn't recognising me so I had to re-register for it and then when I finally put the code in to pay for my parking it said that it was free for that day and I was just like why is this happening? So anyway I, I get my stuff, I run in, um, I, say, I say I'm here for an audition and it was like a movie, it was like um, there was like a row of seats and there was people waiting to audition with script in their hand and I walk in and they just went and then the only uh, vacant chair was at the end so then I had to walk past all of them in order to get to the last chair and um, uh, the person who was running the auditions was a bit behind and he came out and he explained that and it was fine um, and then I got my lines out I was you know going through it trying to get my head in the right space and before you know it I went in and it was fine and I, for some reason I always think that there's going to be monsters sat behind the chair or something like, or that they don't want me to do well which is completely untrue no one wants you to fail in that room if anything they want you to be the one so they can just get the auditions out over and done with if, if anything I think um, so they don't, they're not rooting for you to fail and I walked in and the guy was lovely and there was an, so there was only two people in the room there was the guy that arranged the audition with me and um, a guy that was reading uh, the lines with me and so they started asking about the script how did you find it and I was so like I don't know I felt like so flustered I was just having a bad day and I was like yeah it was fine and I wasn't I wasn't really being myself and um, and then um, he started talking about the character I'm playing and um, I didn't really know too much about her and I felt so disappointed in myself because I I, I didn't even research the, which is, something, which is so strange because that's what I normally do, but because this is a fictional play I just thought it was a fictional character, the play's still being written. Um, but it's actually based on a real person and I said no I didn't I didn't know that so it looked like I was very unprepared really if I'm being a bit too hard on myself I don't know but that's the way it looked and then um, they said should we just get on with it and I said yeah and I put my stuff down I said where should I stand <laughs> they were like you can stand there and then the person that I was talking with um, obviously he hadn't learned he has no reason to learn everyone's you know the lines so his head was down like this um, reading and I was trying to interact with him but it's hard to interact with this I couldn't see his face and I because I had this bloody script in my hand I felt I, I don't know I just felt like I didn't know the lines and that I needed these and so I would commit to a line and then you know tr try and glance back at the script and I stumbled a few times. I spoke, I started my lines a bit earlier and, and spoke over the other guy. And I, when I did that, I went, oh, I'm so sorry. And I broke out of character, which is just amateur. <laughs> you know, reliving this is actually quite difficult for me. Um, like embarrassed for myself, my past self. And, and the guy was looking at me and I was like, oh my god, what an idiot, Kamari. Why did you break character like that? And then um, we got to the end of it, thank god. And then he did a bit of redirection, which is normal, I expected that. Um, we went back to the middle and he wanted me to play it down a bit. And I said, that's fine. 
and we did it and then he said that it ended awkwardly and I, I was like oh my god and and then I was like all right uh, you know and then I tried to get out of there as fast as I, ca I could because that's what that's what Daniel Kaluuya said on the Graham Norton show if you're in audition once it's over just leave just get out of there and to be honest with you that's all I wanted to do I just wanted to get out of there um because I knew it was probably the worst audition I've had to date and I've I've been auditioning a lot this year um but like I said yesterday through self-taping um so all the rejection I have received it, I haven't felt like it's been personal because I haven't really seen the people who have been watching me and you know so but this is this feels a bit more personal because obviously it was a live audition I was I was in front of real people and 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 I feel like I let them down and I was so disappointed with myself and you can see from my nervous laughter when I get back into the car that I just knew that I would not be getting a call for this audition and um I think what I've learned is um holding your script in your hand it's a skill in itself and it's something that I'm not used to I never do that and it's something that I have to learn how to to use my script um you know having this here shouldn't throw me off but it did 100% because I felt like I didn't know my lines psychologically I don't know what it was um, but also this is not the language in this it's, it's old English it's not you know so it's if you, you need to know it basically it's not like how I'm speaking now it's it's very much like poetry and um oh man it was bad it was bad but I've got to laugh about it because hopefully I don't see those people again in my life um it is what it is and um yeah on to the next one and <laughs> I just all this is now this has encouraged me this has motivated me so much I want to do over like I want I want another audition just to prove to myself that that wasn't me I was just having an off day and I can do better and that's the thing that kills me man I know I can do better but I was just oh I was all over the place yesterday and on top of everything United lost so safe to say it wasn't a very good day for all um <laughs> but i've recovered i i let it go i tried to let it go as soon as it happened yes i felt a bit down throughout the day yesterday but it's fine you know it's it this is progress this is progress i know what i did wrong i know what i need to work on bloody scrap And uh, I will redeem myself one day. You will see me. You will see me in something one day. And when you do, you're going to be like, ah, she, she learnt her bloody lines. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, thank you. If you uh, got through this entire video, God bless you. And um, thank you so much for getting through this um i know it was difficult to watch and even if i watch it back one day i'm going to be it's going to be difficult you know so thank you for sticking it out with me um and coming with me on this horrible horrible experience that we needed to live um it can only get better right <laughs> um anyway guys that's me um have I uh, this is currently Sunday hopefully I will put this up today um, so I just want to wish you all a lovely week ahead I hope it goes better than than my day was yesterday um, and I will catch you guys in the next video mm -hmm.